Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to do a video on uh, safely removing uh, an old roller door. Alright, so we're going to get started by getting a rope ready to tie around the door. We're just going to put it over the door ready and tie it up later once we get the tracks off. So just leave that loop there. Make things easier with the cordless drill. You can take one track off safely. Undo most of the bolts on the other one, but leaving one at the top. taking the other side off. It's just easier to pull the door down a little bit. We'll take the last bolt out while we hold on to the door. Once that's out, keep holding on to the door. You don't want that to fly around. Knock you on the head. And then we just pull the door with the rope so that it comes together, you tie it up and then by pulling it around like that it releases the tension of the door. Now we should be safely able to undo the U-bolts. There will be a little bit of tension left in there and you'll see the door move when the tension's released just there but it's not going to violently jump around because we've taken most of the tension off so here I'm taking the U-bolts off that's what I usually do when we're working with two people but it was probably a better idea to leave one on and done up securely but I took them off because I'm a dill okay when we're working with two people we use these ratchet ropes So this is uh, the best way to do it, is you just have a piece of rope and you keep tying knots into it, however distance, it's not any particular science in that, you just, um, you just want them sort of even lengths going down the rope, that rope's a little bit too long. So I'm just sliding that end of the rope over the bracket. Now I'm just securing the other side, which I should have done with the U-bolt. Uh, but, as you can see, I'm taking one side off. Supporting it with my shoulder and then putting it into the rope and resting it down onto the first knot. And then you do the same to the other side, but... My camera decided to stop working and I actually took the door off 
and then realised that the camera had stopped working, so I've re-put the door back up, and now we're doing it again. But I've got the two two ropes now with the knots tied in them. Basically, you just keep lowering it down to the next knot, keeping it as level as possible. Because you don't, if you go on too much of an angle, it's likely to slip out of the uh, out of the rope. So just keep it as level as possible and gradually work down from side to side. Well that's basically how to take a garage door down safely, one person. I recommend doing it, two people, it's always easier, it's quicker, easier and then once you get it off you gotta move it so that's another story but hopefully you got some use out of that and I'll see you on the next video